you always asking me to uh, create a review about the Enscape. And I think to create the review about the Enscape, just uh, about the main future of what the Enscape can do, this is a rendering. It will be kind of boring. Uh, I will show you in this tutorial a really nice thing, how you can use the Enscape for your workflow. So we will talk about not only about the render, we will talk at how you can we will talk how you can achieve the best result to use the Enscape. So this is about the workflow, Enscape, and we're gonna start. So let's get started. Here is my 3D view, uh, here the uh, my Enscape, here you should choose the active view and let's start it. And I will show you how you can manage your workflow in Enscape and Revit in one time. Once it will load it, as you can see it here, it's loaded, we will see the different menu. So if you used to Enscape before, you understand what I mean. But if it, the 3.0, this is your first version of using the Enscape, so it's not will be anything new as you understand. Okay, what we can see here, what I will mention here. Here we have like collaboration annotation, so uh, I like really this future, what we can do. Once you will click it, you can create the issue. For example, I can see here, right here, the door, it's not right. We should change it or we should mm, like uh, update the parameters of this door. I can create the issue of that. I can write, for example, the, the task, for example, wrong. And here, as you can see, change issue, per issue position. Let's choose it. And as you can see, Revit and Enscape helping you to choose the uh, elements of the your model not just somewhere just elements let's click it on this element and that's the done let's create it we create our new uh, issue as you can see it here and now you can for example let's i will change some view maybe i will do like this let's click it and as you can see it's automatically going on the right position and the the person who will should who should change it for example this thing uh, can mm, understand what you mean also you, he can write here the comment for example uh, what the type for example like that and let's save it and you can for example something like a chat in your model it's easily and this is much pretty understandable for the person because you creating the view and you creating the issue on the view you're not using the beam 360 you're not using the revit yeah we in, we have the in revit now collaboration with the beam 360 but as we understand beam 360 it's not for free at all it's much expensive than enscape and the Enscape is much better for the small uh, team, but for big team, of course, the 360s will be, will be the best. Now, let's say you are working with that and, for example, you're closing the beam tree, uh, the Enscape, you don't need it. And uh, you did something, I don't know, like, let's change the type of the door. Doesn't matter which one we will use for now, this is just an example. Uh, let me change to the sun panel, why not? We will do just solid panel, why not? And after that, you opening again your Enscape and how it's uh, going the workflow with the issues. I will show you right now. Here is the Enscape, as you can see. Uh, as you can see, we changed our, our type of the uh, door to the solid panel. And we're going back to the our collaborate annotation. As you can see, it's still here. It's five minutes ago. We can open up, we can see here. we should do something here. But we already changed it. Let's say this is what we want. And now we can change the state to the, for example, done. Let's save it. And as you can see, it was done. If you want to see what you have done, because here you can see only the thing uh, which is on, on the way, you just change it, show it all. And here it's what you have done. It's just uh, helping you to understand what you was done in the project. So by this way, as you can see, you can easily um, connect with your uh, clients, connect with your uh, teammates and more productivity work in the project because you're not just showing like uh, in Revit some element, you can find really much better uh, problem or issue in 3D here. But it's not only the one thing what you can use in Enscape. 
and that's why I highly recommend you and I want to show you all functionality which uh, will help you in your workflow. Creating the issue inside the Enscape, this is fine, but what if you are working not only in Revit, you are working in other programs like Neviswork, Archicad, Aftercad, even Civil. So how you can connect between each other? By the Enscape, you can do it pretty easily. Let's say you are working here and again you don't like for example this window. Let's create the new issue. Here is the new issue and we let's create the new one. We will call it the, something like a test tool and we will say the test tool will be on this position okay so it's here let's update even though let's update like this okay now as you can see it's more closely right now uh, to the window and here the picture also and let's create we have created and now we will export our issues like this here export issues to BCF. BCF manager can create, you can uh, collect all your issues inside the BCF manager and easily check in, in other program. For example, you will open it in Revit. Here you already have the BCF manager. You can download it, it's for free. Let's just open up it and here you will find import BCF file. We already exported from the, uh, from the Enscape and let's open it up it inside here. So it's here, let's open up it, and as you can see here is our two issues. Here is our second issue, double click on it, and BCF creating, of course, it's sometimes it's really creating the crazy views, like you can see right now, but if you will a bit rotate, you can see what's going on here. You can create the, some views, but anyway, it's help you to collect all your issues inside in Revit. So now, it, as you can see, you can find your uh, some problems inside in uh, Enscape, and after that, you can easily transfer it to the BCF manager. After BCF manager, you can uh, you can transfer it anywhere where you want. I think. Uh, all the uh, programs, uh, constructing programs, uh, allow to use BCF Manager. Anyway, we are talking about the Enscape. Let's back to the Enscape. So enough about the issues. Let's say uh, you are an architect. Maybe you are working in feasibility and you wanna create much best view to your client. You are working with the lighting here. For example, you're changing the view here. I don't know. You you think like the, that view will be perfect, and you want to create some view in Revit. Uh, if you will go here to the view management, you will see already standard view from the Revit, standard 3D view. But you're also able to create the your own view inside in Enscape. For example, just click on here, create the view. Let's say this is, will be like. Enscape, 3D view, and let's leave it as it is, I know it will change anything, and let's create it. Once you will create it, you can first, you can uh, link your visual presets, or you can also the, I see other thing. If you will go back to the Revit, you will see here, let me will find it, where is that? It's here. Let's select it, and as you can see, this is same view from the Enscape. So, as you can see, you can use the Enscape not only to check your views, you also can use it to create your views, because uh, we all understand in Enscape with the lighting, with the ray tracing, it's much better to see it. But we created it, and as you can see, we transferred it directly to the Revit. This is pretty awesome. One more coolest thing what I like in, uh, in Enscape, I think you already know this thing, this is exporting to the standalone .exe file. So it means your client doesn't have uh, any uh, Revit, uh, he doesn't have uh, any, for example, the other program, but he wanna check your model, he wanna see your model. Uh, on my cases, for example, sometimes the customer or our client wanna see the model and he just wanna rotate. He not understand an, at all anything about the architecture, but he paying for it and he wanna see how it will be looks like. So for that, the best way I think you can create the uh, exe file and after that you just will get this file and can send to the your client. As you can see, this is really light because it's only uh, around 90 megabytes and after that your client will just will open it uh, and that's it. 
he no need Enscape, he no need the rabbit, he no need any, for example, 2D smacks or something like that. Here you can customize, create your own logo, even the change the name of that, that program and create it more personality. And as you can see, he will get the model, your model. Uh, he also able to change the some settings, for example, his uh, PC not so best. He can change, for example, the rendering quality to the draft because maybe it's really a uh, huge model and it's really hard to him to rotate it. Just change the render quality and that's it. Here, as you can see, also we have the navigation and the nicest thing we have also the map. Just type the M on your uh, keyboard and you will see the map. Actually, the map, this is uh, its map uh, not coming from the your view, it's coming from the, your 3D, or just cutting the view and as you can see, uh, here is the map. Uh, anyway, if your object is really big, it's really helping you, as you can see here we're inside and uh, uh, somehow we can uh, orientate, uh, I mean, uh, somehow we can understand where we are now standing. Uh, as you can see, we have here the small rooms, we understand it. If you will rotate it, you can see here is the rotating your personal too. And this is a nice for your client. So, as you can see also, we can he change here, for example, time. And it's also the helping to your client to understand how it will be looks like on different time. Okay, I know you already know this thing, but it's really cool just to send you to a client uh, to making him uh, to visualize your model, his future building, his future interior interior design. Just try it, send it, and you will see um, the connection between you and your your client will be much much shorter than it was before. And the last thing, what I really like in Enscape. Uh, this is actually about the beam fusion. I know Twinmotion can do the same thing, but don't forget that Twinmotion actually this is standalone program. Enscape actually this is a plugin. It's a bit different uh, about the functionality because the Enscape really lights program. Okay, let's see it. Here is our beam view. As you can see, we can see everything. We can easily see the, only the floors. We can easily the, check all elements and we can see all the specification of this element. Uh, it's also helping you, for example, on some meeting to understand, for example, your client asking you what the type of the concrete you are using here. Select it and see what the type of the concrete you are applied. If you didn't apply anything, of course, you not will see anything. But if you applied some material here, for example, here's the whole material concrete, just the concrete. I can say, okay, here's just concrete uh, cement crete, crete. It's Okay, fine. You don't need to spend the time open the uh, Revit, for example, or something like that, or going to the Revit. You can do it directly in this program, in this uh, plugin. It's pretty awesome. It's also sometimes helping, helping you really fast to find uh, something to discuss. For example, you understand here is wrong material, going back to the issues, creating the issue. Uh, don't forget the select this material and say wrong material and done as you can see we now under control here is oh sorry wrong material wrong material and let's say this is will be in progress so we yeah, easily understand okay the architect now in progress to changing this material okay this was all about the what i like in enscape it's not all functionality. Actually, this is to, was top only about what I like in Inkscape, and uh, this is a, a top also the helping you to uh, creating your workflow in Revit much better, because the Inkscape it's like a bridge between the program. For example, you can work in the Revit. After that, you can check everything in the Enscape, in, uh, also in the Navis work, but between Navis work and Enscape, you can use the BCF manager. As you can see, a lot of the programs you should know or you should just understand how it's work, but all this program, if you are using the on the right way, helping you to create, to make your workflow really, really smooth. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.